Should I lie down after sex to get pregnant? Welcome to Fertile Minds. My name is Dr Fleur Cattrall and I am a Melbourne IVF fertility specialist. Now this is something that couples would ask me every day. Should I lie down after having sex? They worry that everything is falling out afterwards. Is it really? So what we know is the ejaculate contains lots of nutrients for the sperm and a mucousy secretion. And it contains lots and lots of sperm. So after ejaculation, the sperm swim really quickly through the cervical canal up to the fallopian tubes. In fact, they've been seen in the fallopian tubes after two minutes after having sex. After sex, the ejaculate has to liquefy and then it will come out. So this is a normal process. But how long does it take for the sperm to swim out of that mucus and get to where, it's, where it needs to go? Well, those fast moving sperm will swim and get to the fallopian tubes within a couple of minutes, and then some others might probably take their time. So we'll never really have the answer for that. But it doesn't matter too much, don't stress. You could lie down for half an hour, but then it's really important for women to get up and go to the toilet because they don't want to get a urine infection. They really need to empty their bladder. The other question I get asked is, should women orgasm around the time of having sex to get pregnant? Um, well, actually there is some physiological sense to this, at least being well aroused for women uh, because this will increase the cervical mucus. So not necessarily an orgasm, but enough arousal so that the cervix will, and the vagina will increase the cervical mucus so that the sperm have something to swim into. Another thing that couples worry about is should they use vaginal lubricant? After they've been trying to fall pregnant for a long time, then it's hard for women to be aroused. And sometimes uh, lubricant is needed. But the best lubricant of all is actually saliva. If that is not enough, then there are some sperm friendly lubricants on the market. Remember, you've all got your own personal story and circumstances. So if you need help, speak to your family doctor or a fertility specialist. If you have any comments, leave them below and we'll get back to you. Take care and good luck.